third generation sequencing. In third generation sequencing, we're going to introduce a quantum change in how we sequence DNA. We're going to use something called nanopore sequencing, and that's going to allow us to read tens of thousands of bases of DNA at one time instead of a few hundred the way we're doing with next-gen sequencing. This will be a game changer when it comes to sequencing human DNA. And so, you know, the advantages of this are going to be that we're going to be able to sequence DNA very quickly. The estimate is we'll be able to sequence an entire human being's genome in a single day. And because we're not going to have to repeat the sequencing over and over again, because this is going to be a very accurate method, that should lower the cost as well because we won't be spending as much on reagents and so forth. And what all of this means in the end then is that we're going to be able to get to our diagnostic endpoint much faster when it comes to genomes, especially DNA genomes and RNA, or transcriptomes. And one really important thing is that we're going to be able to couple this third generation sequencing with the emerging field of microRNAs, which are powerful indicators of certain types of disease like cancer or heart disease and even some viral and bacterial infections. So third generation sequencing, it's almost here commercially available. It's going to cost about $1,000 for a sequencer, which is, which is significantly less than the current next-gen sequencers, and we're going to be able to obtain results within a day. So if you want to know more about next-gen sequencing, be sure to visit us online at biotechprimer.com or take an, a class in person with one of our instructors and learn everything you want to know about third-generation sequencing. Thanks.